Hi guys, so the cost of living crisis is hitting more and more people and it seems that the Tories are deeply concerned. Not with people suffering, but with their own image. So in order to protect the party, they will quote all sorts of numbers with the objective of confusing the public. At the end of the day, people are being hit on a number of fronts. Generally, inflation is expected to peak at something like 9% this year. But that makes its way into rising fuel prices, which means more expensive food, clothing and consumer items. Grand Shapps attempted to confuse the viewers of Sophie Ridge's show on Sky News when he talked about poverty. We absolutely want to look to do everything we can. We 400,000 400, more market. children in poverty. I understand you can't fix everything, but is the Chancellor going to have to come back with more, in your opinion? So, so, so um, uh, I, can get, I don't want to sort of um, uh, get everyone lost in, get us lost in numbers here, but poverty is divided into both absolute and relative um, positive, and sometimes uh, the way it's presented uh, can uh, be, be, be somewhat misleading, to say the least. Somewhat misleading. So she's talking about 400,000 children uh, in poverty. Now, what is the difference between absolute poverty and relative poverty? It says here, absolute poverty is a condition where household income is insufficient to afford basic necessities of life, those being food, shelter and clothing. And it's important to know that criteria not, ch not changed by economic growth. So if the economy improves, relative poverty does not change. That's something very important to remember. There are many, many people stuck in absolute poverty. So it doesn't matter when Boris Johnson talks about the fifth largest economy in, in the G7 or the fastest growing economy in the G7, people in absolute poverty are not affected by economic growth. While relative poverty is when households receive 50% less income than the average median uh, incomes. Uh, the criteria will change with, with economic growth. And this is generally the one that the Tories focus on. The Tories like to say, well, relative poverty is going down because we are able to manipulate the figures. We're able to show, well, you know, the, the average median income has risen. So we can, uh, there, there are more people being pulled out of relative poverty. But the people who are in absolute poverty will not be affected by that. So they will always be in a situation where they don't have enough money to pay for food, shelter and other items. What we're trying to do, though, is make sure that, for example, uh, if somebody is working on a minimum uh, wage, for example, 16 hours. I do need to come in at this point parent, because, that because we're seeing 8.7 percent peak in inflation. Energy bills are going up by an astronomical amount. It is absolutely mm. correct to say that there are many, many families in the country, up and down, many people watching this programme today, who are going to be seriously worried about how to feed their children, how yeah. to heat their homes in the winter. My question is, I, I don't, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting lost in numbers, my question is, yeah, yeah, is yeah. the Chancellor going to have to come back and do more to help these people? Because this is what people want to know, they're worried. So, so first of all, I do not mean to, in any way, shape or form, uh, underplay it because you don't have to be an expert. You just look at the cost of living, uh, as you mentioned, the increase in inflation. Um, I think you quoted RPI rather than CPI, but nonetheless, it's very substantial. And uh, that's why the Chancellor's already come forward with £22 billion. And I want to just pick up one figure, which For I think, quoting uh, RPI. Does give... I apologise for quoting RPI rather than CPI RPI, RPI. inflation, but, that's fine, but, it's very but high I'm glad that you're saying that it's fine. That's very reassuring. But for <laughs> now, she's being a little bit sarcastic here, and rightly so, because what she's talking about here is the CPI and the RPI, the consumer price index and the retail price index. Now, what is the difference between these two things? And once again, the Tories will use the figures to manipulate the public to convince them that, look, everything is going really well, or there's nothing we can really do about these situations. So the, the CPI measures uh, the weighted average price of, a, of the basket of goods and services consumed by households. The RPI is a measure of consumer inflation, which considers the changes in the retail prices of a, of bas of a basket of goods and services. Um, but there is, a, there is a difference here. It says, um, the components of the CPI and the RPI. The market basket inc uh, involves uh, involves food, beverages, and uh, tobacco, fuel, fuel and light, housing, clothing, bedding, and footwear, miscellaneous. 
the dearness allowance of uh, government employees and wage contracts is also included. While the RPI calculates the, v, uh, the variations in cost of a basket of retail goods and services, RPI also accounts for housing costs such as mortgage interest rates, uh, interest payments, etc. And it goes on to say about housing, for the CPI, the cost of housing is not included while computing the index. While the RPI, housing costs such as mortgage, interest payments, insurance of the building, etc. is included. So it's generally the case that the, the, the government, the Tories, will focus on the CPI and not the RPI. Uh, because it doesn't include certain things uh, like mortgage interest rates, for example. So they're able to manipulate the numbers to a certain extent here to make it look like they're doing much better or the situation is not as bad as people make out. The, the no, sake no, of the no, people I mean, who high, are very so. concerned about how they're going to feed their children and heat their homes, do you think the Chancellor will come back with more help? Well, as I say, the track record is he's already come forward with a lot of help, including more help just last week. Uh, no, no, no more help is needed. Make is, no more help is needed. So that's basically what the, the government are saying. No, no, we've done everything we can. Uh, you're on your own. You know, there's a bit of a Brexit streak here as well. Remember at the beginning of um, the, the period after the transition period, where many businesses were saying, look, we're struggling, we need help from the government. And the response from the government was, sorry, you're on your own. And it seems now that Rishi Sunak is basically saying to families in Britain, you're on your own. There's nothing more I'm going to do. Uh, we could have increased universal credit. We decided not to. We could have increased legacy benefits. We decided not to. We could have um, increased, brought in something similar to the universal credit uplift. So a temporary thing, we decided not to. If you're struggling, you're on your own. Don't worry, you can go to a food bank. Uh, you mightn't be able to cook that food, but you can still go to a food bank. Remember, they're uplifting, as Jacob Rees-Mogg said. The worst thing about all of this is that MPs received a £2,000 bonus this month, or last month in March, which means that they'll be okay. If, there's, if the energy prices go up by £2,000, well, their bonus will cover it. The big problem here is that many people will continue to vote for these charlatans. They don't care about you. They never did. They never will. You need to turn out and vote for someone else. Tactical voting. Get these people out. It doesn't matter if it's a vote for the Greens. It doesn't matter if it's a vote for the Labour Party um, in Scotland, the SNP, uh, the Liberal Democrats in England. It doesn't matter. You need to get the Tories out because they do not care about you. They will try to distract you by saying, well, we care about you by sending, spending billions here and billions there. In reality, they don't care. They never will. They care about their donors. They care about the rich. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.